Hello viewers, you are welcome to this video. Today I want us to look at forward differences interpolation. Forward differences interpolation. Viewers, I have a video on introduction to finite differences interpolation. Those of you who have not watched that video, you are advised to go and watch that one before watching this. Yes, because in that video I explained so many things. Okay, so you want to look at forward differential interpolation. Viewers, to understand this, I want us to look at a question. I believe that after solving this question with you, you should be able to solve any question on forward differences interpolation. Now the question is, from the table below, find f of 2.5 by using an appropriate forward differences formula. So this is the table. One, these are the x values, one, two, three, four, five, six. And these are the corresponding functional values. Before you even start solving the question, you should know where the answer should be, should lie. Do you see it? So 2.5 is somewhere here. Do you see it? So we expect the answer to be between 14 and 40. So what this means at the end of the day, if you solve this question and you get say 100, you get 120. Then straight away, it will mean that uh, the question has not been well uh, solved. There is a problem somewhere. Okay, so let's look at it. Solution. 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 This is the table we have been given. So let's reconstruct this table. So we have x. f of x the x values are 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 now the corresponding functional values are 4 40 40 88 16 and 274 yes and i have been asked to find f of 2.5 so let me clean this side using an appropriate forward differences uh, formula so we have been asked to find f of 2.5 f of 2.5 let me write it somewhere here Okay, now let's complete this table. Delta F, delta F, delta squared F, and then delta cube F. Those of you who have watched the video on introduction to final difference calculation, this will not be a problem at all. Now, if you want the value here, if you want the value here, you subtract this from this and write it here. This is 10. I see it. Then subtract this from this and write it here. 40 minus 14. That will be 26. I see it. Then the next one. 88 minus 40, that would be 48. The next one, 164 minus 88, 6, 76. This one will be 76. Yes. 164 minus 88 will be 76. And then, the last one will be 274. You can use your calculators. Minus 164. 274 minus 164. This is 0, 1, 110. You put it here, 110. Now, so these are the first four differences. 
Now let's go to the second forward differences. So to get the, the value here, 26 minus 10, 16. The next one, 48 minus 26, that will be 22. The next one, 76 minus 48, that will be 28. Isn't it? And then finally, 110 minus 76. Four. That will be 34. 34. This one will be 34. Okay. So these are the second forward differences. Second forward differences. Now, now let's look at the third forward differences. So this one will be 22 minus 16, and that is 6. 28 minus 22, that will be 6. 34 minus 28, that is 6. So because what this means that if you continue, if you want to find the four forward differences, this one will be 0, this one will be 0. So what this means is that you stop when you see that you are getting a constant value. We can use Gregory Newton forward differences formula. So we can say using Gregory Newton forward differences formula. And the formula is this f of sp is equal to f naught plus p delta f naught plus p p minus one delta squared f naught all over two factorial plus p p minus one p minus two delta q f naught over 3 factorial plus so you see it, it follows a pattern f naught plus p delta f naught plus p p minus 1 i will see delta squared f naught over 3 factorial p p minus 1 p minus 2 delta q f naught over 3 factorial if you want to continue it will be p p minus 1 p minus 2 p minus 3 Delta raised to the power 4 f naught all over 4 factorial plus and so on. I see. So it follows a pattern. Hmm? It follows a pattern. If you have p, p, then this one will be squared, this one will be 2 factorial. 1, 2, 3. The p's are 3. This is 3, this is 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 4, this is 4. I see. Yeah, so this is the formula that you are going to use. Now, before you, you continue, viewers, we are going to have to find f of 2.5. f of 2.5. So, as soon as you are asked to find f of 2.5, now look at the formula. The formula is f of sp. So, straight away, our sp is equal to 2.5. When you have to find f of, say, 4.5, straight away, your sp, as far as that question is concerned, will be 4.5. F of 2.5 implies that our SP is equal to 2.5. Now, let's look at the table. Because I've been asked to find the functional value of 2.5, US, 2.5 lies between 2 and 3. Look at it. It lies between 2 and 3. So we can decide to do this. You can say that like you, can, you can call this one S0, this one S1. Because 2.5 lies between 2 and 3. I see. So we can call this one S naught and then this one S1. When we are asked to find the functional value of say 4.5, 4.5 will lie between 4 and 5. So straight out you can see you can call this one S naught and this one X1. Now, if this is S naught in this case, because 2.5 lies between 2 and 3, if this is S naught, then this one will be F naught. I see it? This one will be F naught. So straight away, 
you can say that let s not be equal to s1 and s1 s1 equal to 3 and then if you do that this is will imply that h which is the constant ring between the successive values of s and we obtain at s1 minus s0 which is 3 minus 2 and this one is 1 the h we can subtract uh, 5 from 6 4 from 5 3 from 4 2 from this we get the same thing is it? ok, so we have this thing now and I'm saying that from the table, because this one has been taken to be S0, then this will be the corresponding functional value. So this one will be F0. So it means that from the table, our F0 is equal to 14. Isn't it? Now, if F0 is equal to 14, we are look on the board. We are using the Newton forward differences formula. This one is on forward differences interpolation. So, this is F0, and you are looking at forward differences interpolation, US, look at the word. Now, let me liken this one to strikers in football, the forward players. If you are a striker or a forward player, your main job is to score goals. You can't say that me have been helping the defenders, no. No team will buy a, a striker to help defenders, no. A team will buy a striker to come and score goals. So at the end of the day, you are going to be assessed based on the number of goals you score. So, forward differences, if this is F0, then you have to move forward. I see it. So look at it. So if this is F0, because this is S0, then you are going to move forward. So this is F0. So you are going to move forward. If you are moving forward, look on the board, US, you move forward this way. I see it. So if this is F naught, then this one will be delta F naught. This one will be delta squared F naught, and then this one will be delta cubed F naught. I see it. Now, if you were, if the person had been, if we are asked to find the functional value of say three point five. You know that 3.5 lies between 3 and 4. So in that case, this one would have been made S0 and this one S1. If this is S0, then this one would have been F0. If this is F0, then this one would be delta F0. Delta squared F0, delta cube F0. I see it. If you have been asked to find, say, the functional value of 1.5, straight away, this one would be X0. If this is S0, then this one will be F0. If this is F0, then this one will be delta F0, delta squared F0, delta cube F0. I see. So we need to understand. So for the table, delta F0 is equal to 26. I see it. Delta squared F0 is equal to 22. And uh, Delta cube F naught is equal to six. Okay. So let I can now clean this side. Let me clean this side and continue. So the table has led us to obtain the values needed. Now, so let's move back to the formula. F of SP, our SP is or 2.5. F naught is known. I said, delta F naught is known. Delta squared F naught is known. Delta cube F naught is known. Is it? Delta 4, that's why I'm going to zero. So you know this will go to zero. If you are continuing the, the table, delta raised to the power for F naught will go to zero. So the whole of this will go to zero. So this one will not come in. Now, we are left with P. Before we can use this formula, we need to find P. Now, US P is expressed as this. P is equal to SP minus S0 all over H. And then I've told you that the SP is what you have been asked to find its functional value. So SP is 2.5 minus S0. As far as this question is concerned, we are saying that our S0 is 2. 
all over h. h is the constant range between the successive values of x and h in this case is 1. So 2.5 minus 2, that is 0.5 by 1, so this is 0.5. So you can now use the formula. So this means that for the formula, you can say that m.5 is equal to, we are then going to do substitution. F0 is 14, so 14 plus P. P is 0.5. Are you seeing it? Times delta F0. Delta F0 is 26. Plus P. P is 0 0.5. 0 0.5 and then we have P minus 1. So 0 0.5 minus 1, that would be negative 0 0.5. Delta squared F0, delta squared F0 is 22. I just need all over 2 factorial, and 2 factorial everywhere is 2. That is 2 times 1, so 2. Plus P, P is 0 0.5. Don't forget. Now P minus 1. So 0 0.5 minus 1, negative 0 0.5. Now, here is P minus 2, 0 0.5 minus 2, that would be negative 1.5. Delta cubed F0, delta cubed F0 is 6, all over 3 factorial. 3 factorial, US is 3 times 2, and that is 6. 3 times 2 times 1, so that is 6. And US, if you use your calculator to work this one, you should get 24.625. So this will be the functional value of 2.5. And if you check the table, you can see that this is making sense. Yes, US, the answer is 24.625. And if you check the table, you see that it's making sense. Because before so we said that the answer should lie between 14 and 40. And this is true. You see it. So this is the essence of forward differences uh, interpolation. In my next video, you look at backward differences interpolation. Backward differences interpolation. And that one, I will liken it to defenders. Thank you very much for your attention. For more of this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Shamala Jr. If you have not done so, thank you very much.